Hi, my name is Pablo and I'm a data engineer at Tropos.io. At Tropos, we are premier partners of Snowflake, and as such, we're very excited by the recent acquisition of Streamlit. Um, and because of this, I've taken on the personal challenge of uh, within five minutes, uh, introducing you to Streamlit, what it is, and how we can develop our first data application within yeah, these five minutes. So first of all, what is Streamlit? Streamlit is a Python module uh, with which we can create uh, visual data applications which are able to take data from any source that we define and with a purely uh, Python syntax can, uh, can we develop a, a, a sort of application or, or, or widgets or uh, websites to present this data in the form of uh, charts or, or graphs and add any dynamic dynamic elements to them as we as we want um, then these applications they can be very easily shared across the, the network and um, we can show it to colleagues um, make a point during our our meetings uh, about the, the kind of data that we have and the things that we can do with it and also as a, as a data engineer it allows me to check on the quality of the data and and have an overview of what what I have in front of me in a way that uh, pure SQL doesn't allow me to. Uh, so how can I do this in the next? Uh, okay, I have three minutes. Yes. Uh, so the way I can do this is by uh, opening a tab on uh, yeah, a script on VS Code, and here I have uh, a function that the only thing will, it will do is load data from snowflake in a data frame format uh, it will be taking some environment variables um, username credentials and, and then uh, we will feed it a query that we have it defined here uh, we have a table with some uh, crypto data and we want to to see how the bitcoin price is doing for example so uh, once we feed that data into our function it will be retrieving it into a data frame format and uh, with the Streamlit library, let's start developing the application. So we start by creating a header. And because we're very polite people, we're going to be saying hi. And after, under this header, we can have a subheader, which is going to say um, visualizing data uh, with Streamlit. And finally, we're going to create a line chart that is going to show the uh, data frame data. And it's going to use specifically the close column. Okay, and once we have this, the only thing we need to do is uh, run the application. So we do stream let run app.py and now streamlit in the back end is going to spin up a server which will be accessible across our local network and here we see that it automatically uh, triggers the creation of a tab on our browser that is going to show uh, the new application that we just created. Um, it's going to take a few seconds to load, but as we can see, oh, it's already done. Uh, we have the high visualizing data with Streamlit and this graph, which is dynamic. We can zoom in, zoom out, check if, if the data looks okay. We're not missing anything here. And this is all very, very good. But then uh, what if we want to have some more dynamic things like uh, some buttons? So for this, uh, let's add the following code very quickly. As we have a few seconds left. Uh, I have it here. Save. And let's rerun our application. And voila the same but now we have some options like let's say how ethereum trades against uh, usd dollars for example and we can see that we got a new graph here 
So yeah, that's it. Uh, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, we made it within the five minutes. <laughs> Bye.